All right, so let's take a look at your one-touch marketing message types. So you'll find these in your admin page under the SMS and email tab under the one-touch marketing section. So you've got a whole bunch of messages here. Now we'll go through each one and we'll explain what each one does and how to set it up. So the first one there is your first appointment reminder. So this is just a simple appointment reminder that you can have send via SMS and or email and you can choose a number of days before the appointment for the message to automatically send. Now you've got an SMS template there so you can view the wording that's currently being used. And if you like that wording, you can keep it like that. But we do suggest that you perhaps add in a sentence there like reply yes to confirm. That way when clients receive their SMS reminder, they know exactly what to do. And when they do reply yes, the letter C for confirmed will display on their appointment automatically. So you can see at a glance who's confirmed. And if anybody doesn't have a C on their appointment, then perhaps you could just give them a quick call but majority of people will do that if that sentence is in that SMS reminder, reply yes to confirm. So you can change that there. So you can go to the list tab, drop down the select list menu and then find the SMS. Just copy the existing wording if you like or you can create a new template and then just change that there and then save. And then you can go back and find that new template in that SMS template list. And then when you're ready, you can save. Now the next one there is the second appointment reminder. So if you wanted to have two rounds of appointment reminders being sent, so let's say one two weeks before the appointment and then the second round two days before the appointment, then you can set up the second appointment reminder. It's not necessary, it's just if you wanted that extra layer of appointment reminding. So you can set it up in the same way you did with the first one. Okay, so the next one there is your first visit message. So again, you can set it up for SMS and or email and you're sending this one a number of days after the client's first visit. So it's sort of a welcome message, just letting them know that you know, you're thinking about them, asking how they went. You could take this opportunity to send them like a voucher for their next appointment, whatever it might be. But this is the wording that is there by default. You can change that wording like we saw before in the list tab under the SMS and email template section. So you can copy the default template and then you can change that wording and then find that new template in the list there. And you've got the email template option there as well. And save when you're ready. The next one there is your birthday message. So this can be sent a number of days before via SMS or email the client's birthday or if you put zero in there you can actually have it sent automatically on their actual birthday so again you can change the wording of the sms or email template and save when you're ready the next one is your new client message so a number of days after you've added the client into your database into simple salon so whether they've had an appointment or not they are sent an sms or an email depending on how you set it up so choose the number of days, select the SMS and or email template, change the wording if you need to, and when you're ready, save. The clients who haven't been in message, this is a good one. So edit that one and on the right, you can choose SMS and or email. Now you can choose however many months it's been since they haven't had an appointment. And then you can choose to have it sent on the first of every month or whatever date you'd like. And then you've got your SMS template. So here's the wording at the moment. And you can pop a bit more information in the email template too, if you wish, because you can have more characters and save when you're ready. The next one there is your operator appointment notifications. So these are the notifications that you can send via SMS or email to your staff, your operators. So it can notify them if they've got a new appointment or appointment cancelled. So you can go crazy here and tick everything, but just remember your operator is going to be sent a lot of SMSs and emails. So it's not particularly necessary to have this even enabled, but you might choose to just have it enabled for new appointments or just cancelled appointments. So you figure out what you'd like there, but you can set it all up change the template and save when you're ready. The next one there is your appointment follow-up message. So again, this can be turned on for SMS and or email. I think email is a good one here because think of this one as like your aftercare message. If you want to pop a bit more information into this message, like a whole lot of information about aftercare, the email is a really good option for this one, I think. Of course, you can have an SMS enabled as well, but the email, you can pop way more information in there. 
Now you can choose to have this one send a number of hours after the appointment or a number of days after the appointment. If you're choosing the hours, just choose at least three or so because it will go from the first appointment time. So, you know, if the client's in there for three hours, then they'll get it like literally as soon as they leave. So you just want to make sure it's just going to be sent just after they leave, shortly after, so they get that follow-up message just at the right time. Now you can apply this message to all services or selected services and you can change the SMS template or the email template there. Again, the email is really great to add a whole lot more information into because the SMS is just 160 characters if you only want to use one SMS credit per message. But with the email, you can have as much text in there as you like. And the last one there is your rebook reminder. So again, you can send it via SMS and or email. And this one is gonna go out a number of weeks after the client's visit. And it's to remind them to rebook. It will only be sent to clients who haven't rebooked. So it does exclude clients with a matching visit in the future. So it's just gonna go to the right people. And also you can apply it to all services or you can select specific services that this message will apply to. And then you can change the SMS template and the email template. And when you're happy, click save. And there you have it. Those are all of your one touch marketing automatic message types. So once you're happy with those, they'll start sending uh, once you've enabled them all. Now to see what has been sent, you can go to your marketing page and your campaign report. And in here, it will track all of the SMS and email campaigns that the system sends. So you can see a list of recipients for each of the campaigns that have been sent. And you can see exactly who's received them, uh, when, and also any replies that they've sent back as well. So there you go. That's how easy it is to set up your one-touch marketing messages.